Hello friends and welcome back. Yesterday I decided to have a little bit of fun and give myself a challenge. With all of the great gear that we've got in the store here, more music, more guitars, I wanted to see if I could put together a rig that I would be happy just walking into a gig, being ready to play just about any genre of music, if I could do it for $1,000, and I could do it with a tube amp, a guitar that would work with that, and then if I need any pedals, you know, that's got to be in there too. Could that be done for $1,000? If not, how much would the most inexpensive rig be that I could go out, enjoy playing on, and be happy with what I produced. You know, there's lots of combinations. I'm sure you all will have some questions about the decisions I made, uh, but I had a blast with them. So take a watch of the video. Let me know what would your choice have been that cost less money than mine did. I'd like to see what your ideas are. I picked up an amp here that I have always loved, the Fender Blues Junior Tweed. And I particularly like the Tweed version of this because of the Jensen speaker in it. It just has an, a vintage warmth to it. Much as I love the Celestians, just to sit down and play it, there's just something about this amplifier with the Jensen speaker, it's like comfort food to me. So I grabbed the Blues Junior there. The other thing I like about it, I'm gonna kick off my pedals here, is it lives in that sweet spot where... where the difference between the clean channel and the drive channel is just how hard you play it. I love that. Out of an amp, $699. Love the sound of it. Okay, so $699, I basically have $300 for guitar. What am I going to grab? So I said, well, let's take a look at this Squire Affinity Strat. It's a hum single single, so it's going to give me the versatility I would need to go do a gig with one guitar, one amp. So I said, let me give it a shot. I have always loved the classic vibe squires. I thought those were great values for the money. Truthfully, I haven't played an affinity before. <laughs> this is blowing me away. Uh, all the body, maple neck, uh, Indian laurel fretboard on here. And the only issue I would have with this guitar if I were to take it out to a gig right now, I would have to raise the string action. This guitar, the string action is so low. No buzz whatsoever. I mean, this is set up as well as a thousand dollar guitar. Satin finish on the neck feels great. The fretboard feels great. And the sounds can't. that humbucker pickup will drive this amp really well just in that sweet spot setting but still back off your playing that's what an amp is supposed to do and that blues junior does it perfectly this guitar would I would I would have no problem going out and doing a gig with this Okay, so anyway, we're at this price right now. That brings me to 
$928 guitar and the amplifier. Well, I can crank up the gain on this, but you know, if you know, you know, Fender amplifiers, they really kind of top out as far as what you're going to get out of high gain from them. And if you want to go much past the crunch, it gets a little muddy, it's kind of crackly in the low end. So I knew I was going to need a pedal. So I looked at a few pedals that kept me right in my budget. Um, looked at uh, a Boss uh, Overdrive, I looked at a Boss SD-1, but either they would take me into the distortion territory to do the classic rock stuff, but they wouldn't get me in that Stevie Ray Vaughan sweet spot. So I decided to pull one of my favorite pedals from Electro Harmonics, the Hot Tubes Overdrive. <laughs> Okay, that puts me right in the Stevie territory that I need to be in. Okay, but if I need to go up, turn the volume down a little bit, let's crank this overdrive way up, and we're going to do some classic rock stuff, maybe even the tone a little bit higher. And there you go. We're in that territory. Problem. And I shouldn't say a problem because this pedal is still incredibly priced. $76 put me $4 over budget. So now with this guitar and amp, $1,004. Only thing that I miss, and Fender amp, the, even this Blues Junior has a great Fender reverb in it. I don't like reverb. I have to play with just a little bit of delay. <laughs> That's what puts me in my comfort zone. Makes all the difference in the world just to how things feel when I'm playing. So, sprang for an additional $99, which is an incredible price for a two-mode digital delay. So I'm one of the JHS 3 series. Um, it's got the bucket brigade and the digital type delay on it. So I can do anything from... If I decide, nah, we're going to do some U2 stuff. This is a rig that I would take out. I would gig with it. I would have a blast doing it. Total price, 1103 With both the pedals, guitar, amplifier, and truthfully, knowing the sales folks here at More Guitars, if you talk to them about this package, you might be able to get it for the budget that I was originally trying to get under. That's just part of the joy of doing business here at More Guitars. But please, do give them a call, whatever your budget is. The folks here at More Guitars are the experts in every brand they sell, and they will put together a package for you that will make you sound great, that will feel great, give you great value in any budget range that you happen to be in. So give them a call, check out this stuff. Squire Affinity, this is a heck of a guitar for $229. You heard the Blues Junior. That is truly one of my favorite tube amps, no matter what the price. Check them out. More guitars. We'll see you next time.